Good morning, world. It's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday. We had a crazy weather week here in Cleveland. Uh, cold, and then it got really hot. About Wednesday, we were upper 90s. It was just boiling. Thursday was upper 80s. Yesterday, Friday, it was, what was it? I don't know, upper 70s. Started feeling great. At nighttime, got really windy. And then this morning, wake up, it's freezing. Uh, I think it's been about the 60s today. We got in the lower 50s, but I love it. I love this weather. Um, and I do love the changes and the changes of the weather and the temperatures. It makes me appreciate um, it all. So it's really cool. And it's a sunny day, so I got a lot of yard work to do today. Um, but it's funny that when I do these devotional Saturdays, I never know really what I'm going to say. Like, I do. I have it sometimes planned, okay, what I'm going to say. But then sometimes it changes. And this is one of those where I had something else planned. And last minute, it's changed. I had a Bible study this morning. And I didn't film a video up for today. So as I did the Bible study, things were clicking. I'm like, oh, this is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, so yeah, so it's changed. Because um, I was reading a book. We are going over, um, me and my buddy Jose, doing a Bible study by J. Oswald Sanders called Spiritual Discipleship, Principles of Following Christ for Every Believer. And today, we were talking about the Beatitudes and about discipleship. So I'm going to read those to you, and then what really stuck out to me, and then in here. So if you go to Matthew 5, the Beatitudes, we're just going to start at, at verses 3 through uh, 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we went over today. Um, it's just laying the foundation about the ideal discipleship, about following these. And then it hit me. When we were talking about the uh, spiritual inadequacy, which is the first one, blessed are the poor in spirit. And uh, Oswald Sanders goes on to say, he says, there are two words for poor in Greek. One means someone who has nothing superfluous. The other, one who has nothing at all, is bankrupt and has no resources. It is the second meaning that Jesus referred to. The lesson is clear. The person who is to be envied is the one who, in consciousness of his spiritual bankruptcy, is cast back on God and draws on his limitless resources. As Luther said, we are all beggars living on the bounty of God, but such poverty leads to spiritual affluence. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And it really struck me with these beatitudes going to this and hearing about that, that if we don't get that first one, if we're not poor in spirit, if we are not completely bankrupt of ourselves, the rest of them, it doesn't really matter. Um, and that's me looking at this because if you feel like you got tons of resources, you're working on your own, you're working out your own salvation, you know, doing all these works, but not focusing on Jesus, you're not going to be meek. You're not going to be humble. You're not going to be merciful. Um, you're not going to go do these things. It all starts with realizing that we are completely bankrupt without Jesus. Yeah, you may say, oh, we have things or material possessions, but spiritually, if you're bankrupt, you got nothing. So, but be, you have to be spiritually bankrupt and realize it. Then go seek after God. Go follow Jesus and do what he says. And then the rest of these will fall in line. So that's what I wanted to share with you this week. Again, go about this week and, and read it. Go to Matthew chapter 5, read the Beatitudes, and uh, see about that. Have you been trying to work out your own salvation by your own works? Or have you been seeking God? Are you, you know, do you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not poor, I'm rich, and I'm rich spirit, all these things, or not? Really think about it, because you have to be spiritually bankrupt, and then go to him, and he'll give you all these things. So that's what I want you to think about today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out there, do some yard work, enjoy this beautiful weather. It's chilly, but it's beautiful out there. So you go do the same. Have a great weekend, guys. Until next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.